All right, last up, we have Harrison Harnish. He's a software engineer at Respondly, and he's going to talk about React Native and Meteor. So how many of you here have heard of or played with React Native? Awesome. Awesome. Um, so I've been playing around with it and working on making it work with Meteor. And I'd like to share some of my experiences. Um, so here's how I picture it fitting together. And it's kind of a summary of, of, of what I've done it to this point. Um, so every app starts with your basic Meteor app. It's, it's your database. It's also got your web views. And the way that you connect with your iPhone app is through DDP. And it's a little bit different than um, some of the current solutions that are out there. So let's, let's dive into what's actually going on. So we've got our Meteor DDP connection, which is actually sitting on top of a WebSocket. And the uh, socket library that is inside of React Native is called Socket Rocket. And s some of the stuff that I built on top of that um, manages that socket connection and then exposes it over what's called the React Native Bridge which allows you to bridge the gap between your objective C code and this JavaScript engine that they're spinning up that's running inside of a different thread. And all, these, um, all, all of the code that's running here is running asynchronously. Uh, so then I, I, I built a little piece on top of that inside of JavaScript that um, exposes a WebSocket polyfill that allows you to, that basically just exposes a, a, a standard WebSocket that you would see on, inside of a browser. So then on top of that, you can use a lot of the existing libraries, um, like the DDP client, um, uh, Asteroid, I think, was another one that, that could potentially be used here. So how would I actually subscribe to the data and connect? Um, so here's, here's all of the media code that you need to get, to get started with updating a list. And I'm actually going to demo this here in a second. So basically what you do is you connect to your, your server. You tell it which publication you want to subscribe to. And then you observe the collection. And as things are added, changed, and removed, you're updating your, your UI. So basically, this example, I haven't had to touch any Objective-C. It's all working in JavaScript. And it's all working with React components. So some things that I think need uh, to, for, for a complete experience need to be done. It, it would be great to have a DDP, uh, to, to be able to use the Meteor DDP in Meteor's mini, mini Mongo packages. And I think it's pretty close to being able to make this happen. Uh, the things that we're missing is just a few dependencies on the document. And from what I can tell, most of those things were things like on ready um, or stubbing those things out inside of uh, React Native. Um, and it would be ideal to have these things as NPM packages because React Native allows you to import these things using, um, using NPM. So just a quick demo. So I've got the to-dos app. That seems to be the favorite demo. And as with any media app, things just get added. I can remove lists. And I can finish things, and every, uh, it just works like a, a standard media app, Meteor app was, and with a relatively small amount of code. So does anyone have any questions? Questions for Harrison? Yes? Maybe this is a little off, but uh, we're very heavily interested in building native UI for iOS and tapping into a Meteor backend, but our Android guy is very uh, hesitant. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know too much about React, but mm -hmm. from a, just using components, using this versus like Blaze or just standard components, mm -hmm. am I limiting myself in that respect with wanting a native kind of feel on Android and iOS and web kind of simultaneously? Or can I build React components and then build all that, build out right? all the UI? So I believe the question was that um, if, I be, if I build a React native app and I take some of the code that I've used to build that, can I take that code and, and build that in the web or maybe take that to Android as well? Right. Would it just be a web view at that point? 
I believe the plan is to th there to be parity between um, the Android and the I iPhone app, so I think you're good there. Um, there ne there's a little bit of work that needs to be done to um, build a layer that, so uh, instead of divs, for instance, you have a view. Um, there's a little bit of stuff like that that you'd have to build out. But I think the community wants that too, so. Awesome, yeah. Do we have any other questions for Harrison? Okay, we have one over here. So the work that you've done is very iOS specific, so someone would have to do similar work to support the Android Bridge 3 app native? So the question was, the work that I've done is very specific to iOS. Um, and would it, would it take more work to build something out for Android? Um, the answer is probably, and it depends on the JavaScript engine that they choose to use, which I think is V8, and it's potentially, potentially WebSockets might even be there, but I, I'm not 100% not sure. So most of your work was in JavaScript as opposed to uh, Objective-C? Actually, it was about 50-50, um, building the piece that that manages this, the socket rocket library and then exposing that library in JavaScript. Yes. So can you ever see a future where maybe you could use React with Meteor on the web, then you could also use similar components by replacing some of those you know, data with, with uh, you know what I mean? Like, is there, is there a possibility you could take what you've done and, and basically use it on web as well by adjusting some So the, I believe the question was, could I take some of the components um, that I'm, uh, is there a potential for the, for the future to build components that'll work on both the web and also React Native? Okay, so could you build an adapter to make it work um, on both React Native and, and the web? I, I think it's totally possible. Um, you just need a layer of React components. Do we have any more questions for Harrison? Okay, last question. If uh, Blaze Native existed, would you have done all this work or would you just use Blaze Native? Well, uh, uh, the question was if Blaze Native existed, would I have done all this work or would I have used Blazed? Um, I'm definitely a big fan of minimal effort to get the end goal done, and I totally would have gone for that first. I, I totally would have tried that um, because, you know, it, it would be great to have that supported by uh, Meteor Development Group. All right. Thanks so much, Harrison. Thank you.